Hey guys, so I'll be showing you how to use that one free eShop called Free Shop. So this pretty much allows you to download any game right off of Nintendo servers from an eShop clone. So the good thing about this is that any game that's on Nintendo's eShop right now will be able to download on this new one. But except everything is free and it's a homebrew application. So um, the first thing you need to do is download the CIA of it. So here it is. And you're going to put this on the root of your SD card. So I just inserted mine. And there it is. So I'm just going to copy this and put it directly on the root of my SD card. And the next thing we need to do is we need to get the encrypted title keys bin file. So you can download this from a website right here. The reason why I'm not going to have a direct download for this is because it often gets updated and stuff. So this will always have the most updated version. So here it is. So we can just can hit the download button and there it is. So we can close out of the internet browser and we can copy this and go to our SD card and we're going to create a new folder and call it free and then capital S H O P. So free shop. Then go inside of it and paste it in here. So now our SD card is completely set up, so we can insert it into our 3DS now. So I'll meet you on my 3DS. Okay, so I've started up my 3DS and I'm just about to boot into FBI. So I'm assuming a lot of you guys already have a CIA installer because like a lot of people have downgraded when 10.7 was downgradable and installed ARM9 loader hacks. So yeah, let's boot into it. So I'll just switch to the bottom screen since FBI is mostly bottom screen based. So we're going to click on SD. And then we're going to scroll down until we find the freeshop.cia. So here it is. So we can press A to select it. And then we can do any of these. So we're going to do install CIA. And then we're going to hit yes. So it's installing install finished, press OK, and now we can close out of FBI. And this will come up, so that's normal. So we can unwrap it if we want to. And now we're going to close out of FBI. So let's switch back to the bottom screen. Okay, the top screen I mean, sorry about that. And we're going to go into the free shop. So it says looking for eShop update and then it says installing. So we'll just wait for this to get done. I'm not sure how long this will take so I'll just pause video until it's done. Okay so now it's downloading something so yeah. I didn't press anything by the way so we'll just wait for this process to get done. Okay, so it's done. It took about a minute to do all of that stuff, maybe less. And on the top screen, you can see all of these CIAs that we can install. They're not even CIAs, they're just eShop content. So, you can either just scroll through all of this looking for stuff. It also has a file size, which is pretty convenient because some people have small SD cards. And sorry about that, my camera just fell. So, yeah. There's also a search function on the bottom, which is pretty handy. So, we can just type in Zelda. And let's hit enter. And it'll find all of the matches that have the word Zelda in it. So, let's just install one of these. Let's install The Legend of Zelda, the original one. It'll load up and it'll fetch all of the data like the description and stuff, the screenshots. So we can close out of that. And if we wanted to install it, all we have to do is click this install button. So this will download it, and as you can see, this number has changed to a 1, so it's adding it to the download queue. So it's installing 506 kilobytes per second. So it's already installed. If you didn't see, it has a little speed, which is pretty convenient to calculate how fast it's going to install.
because sometimes CIAs do take a while. So another cool thing about the switch function is that it also allows abbreviations. So if we wanted Ocarina of Time, all we have to do is just type in OOT. Well, that, that has a lot of results, so we can just... So let's just do Zelda OOT. We accidentally put an I. And hit enter. And it's one of the first options. So we can install this one if we wanted to. But yeah, so that's mostly it. I've showed you how to use it, install games and stuff. And I just press the home button. So here is the game that we just downloaded. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for your videos, tutorials and stuff. And I'll see you later.